Good morning, Machiko-san. Did you sleep well? It was a decent sleep, although perhaps a bit lonely. However, you seem to be getting along well with my little sister. Takani, was it? Perhaps I should consider you my rival in the quest for the heart of our dear Maiko-chan. <laughs> seems she seems to like it. I guess I'll be stuck with that name for a while. Oh, is it not to your liking? Well, perhaps you would prefer Darling instead. You you were watching us. Indeed, I was taking both. Of, it was taking both of you such a long time. I grew rather curious and snuck out, but I didn't see you at all. Well, I am a fox spirit. Hiding myself from humans is like playing hide and seek with a child. Then why didn't you use your hiding skills to hide from the guards? Now that you mention it, the thought never occurred to me. <laughs> well, it certainly was fun getting chased by them. Unfortunately, Mariko does not have the best control over her change. She is far too excitable and is unable to maintain the illusion. It is one of her magical blind spot. I, I'm sure it would have been fun for the Tusuri Tyrant to have caught you both. That certainly would have been an unpleasant experience. Then again, I'm sure you would have ended up saving me, wouldn't you, Takakun? I noticed a subtle change in Machiko's voice as the sweet sugar-coated words caused my cheeks to flush red. I really wasn't any good at dealing with this girl's flirty attitude. Stepping backwards, I turned towards the stairs at the end of the corridor and replied in a hurried voice, M Mako chan is waiting for us! And with that, I rushed towards the kitchen, with Machiko giggling behind me as she followed. Ah, good morning, both of you! I fixed up some eggs and toast for you. There are some oranges, too. Ah, wonderful. Thank you, little one. You're getting better at this. To wake up, knowing a pretty girl made me breakfast, it's good to be alive. Perhaps you would enjoy having one resting by your side as well. Th that's a bit overkill, especially considering the condition of said girl. I recalled the sight of Machiko sleeping yesterday, and my cheeks immediately grew red. I quickly sat down at the table, trying to distract myself by changing the subject. So, thanks to you two, I learned a little about this world. How about I return the favor and talk about mine? Do you have anything that you want to ask? Oh, yes, I want to know. What are the spirits like in your world? Hmm, spirits, you say? I thought about her question for a moment before I replied with a sheepish grin. Well, in my world, spirits only exist in folk tales. They appear in stories, and certain religions even worship them. But it's not like we got them running around like they do in this world. Folk tales? Worship? Your world is strange, Takakun. Ah, that's kind of boring. What about your life? Are you a defender of your village? You said something about Chudo before. What is that? You mean Judo? Well, in my world, people go to this place called school. It's basically a place of knowledge where you learn a lot of things before you're considered an adult in our society. But in my world, the defenders are known as the police. They keep things peaceful and such. I'm just a student. I guess you could say I'm studying to become a defender, not just of my village, but of my whole country. It was a bit exaggerated, but I kind of felt nice to tell them to call myself a defender. He that sounds weird. Is the police like the army or something, defending the whole nation? Your world is very strange, Takakun. I wouldn't call it strange, Machiko-san. It's this world that's weird. But no, the police are like the guards in the village. We do have an actual army that defends the country, though. He he he. Either way, your world sounds like fun, especially if everyone's like you. Anyway, we... Oh, no! No! Oh, dang it! These oranges all have worms in them! Ew, 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 ew! Onisama! Did you forget to check them again? Oh, how terrible. I must have been overcome with fatigue and never gotten around to checking them properly. Boo! Big ol' lazy meanie! I'll just have to go and get some apples instead. As Mako went outside to grab some apples, my eyes drifted towards Machiko, who was observing me with a content smile, clearly pleased with something. Ah, it's such a relief to see her in such a good mood. It's been a tough few months, I must admit. She's been upset that her magical skills have not been progressing as fast as they once did. We all have our ups and downs, especially when it comes to studying. I still remember how I used to dread exams. So little time for my judo, 
It made me rather sad at times.